Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. So today I got a different kind of gameplay for you because this gameplay is gonna prove my point in the previous video of armor being useless. You should definitely never ever waste your paragon points or even an affix, you know, total armor in order to achieve some artificial 13.3 thousand armor cap, uh, you know, um, to reach the maximum dr against physical damage because there is simply not enough physical damage in the game to kill you in current in current content okay like if we got aoz would be a different uh it would be a different situation but t100s we definitely do not need the armor cap and gauntlet seems to be even easier in like you know in terms of uh damage intake because they announced that the enemies in gauntlet start at level 100 and in the footage they are fighting i think 124 level enemies meaning that armor is gonna be even less relevant uh because like their goal with the gauntlet is uh for it to be for everyone right A aoz was for like three percent people playing the game most people are casuals um so uh so yeah the gauntlet is aimed at casuals as well so they can compete against their friends against their family at uh etc you know so i kind of expect it to really really be way easier than t100 uh but instead be focusing on like some strategy you know how to get the most amounts of points how to be the fastest that's why i am pretty sure that hoda will be like a dead uh dead build uh because yeah hoda is already one of the worst builds for barbarian right now it's only good for bossing because the obvious one shots but it's totally unnecessary in any other content because everything dies with like 8 million damage so why would you need to do 2 billion right when you kill everything with 8 uh 8 million so and it just makes you slower hoda is not exactly a fast a fast build not as fast as some other builds can be either bleed builds or like kick leap build you know where you kick the enemy and in air you leap on the enemy you know and that's how you can skip a lot of the a lot of the terrain and simply make your run faster um so that's definitely gonna be the way we are gonna be playing the game at least in my opinion and i decided to take it up a notch and i'm only gonna be running with less than six thousand armor in this run Okay, less than 6,000 armor, no elixirs, and because I'm also using Rage of Harrogath, I also lost max life, DR bleed, uh, DR bleed, <laughs> DR clothes, and uh, DR flat that I usually have on my chest. So, you know, that's survivability loss against elemental as well. But this chest is so powerful, so powerful with the CDR reduction. You know and the extra crit strike chance if you are playing a gushing wounds or crit strike damage builds in, in in general that yeah i can see this chest uh it's like a sleeper right now but definitely being a best in slot for gauntlet once again because armor is probably not gonna be as needed there it's gonna be about speed and this chest definitely helps with that so let's get right into it because a lot of people don't like uh, gameplays that are just, um, you know, just like running through, not killing anything. I decided that this time around, I'm going to try and kill, you know, everything that I see, really. Not going to be like returning for enemies, okay? Like definitely not going to be doing that uh, for like one spider or whatever. But I'm also not going to be trying to skip enemies just to, you know, get to the last room. Pretty chill so far as you can see. Yep, I'm gonna use charge. Doesn't matter. Uh even if we lose the cooldown, you know, from power charge, we got our shouts, we just use shout and we are back in, baby. Um because this build like really is about like 100 uptime on all of our abilities, uh, thanks to playing disembowel as well as rage of harrogat plus Marshall. So a uh, Rage of Harrogate and Disembowel are lowering the cooldowns of our shouts. Okay. And our shouts lower the cooldown of everything else. So the synergy is absolutely bonkers. Uh -huh. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Should have been a superstar, right? I keep telling everyone I should have been a superstar. But no one believes me. No one believes me. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> As you can see, the best, uh, you know, the best defense is better offense. Because if you kill everything before it can touch you, then you don't really need defense, right? And that's the way I play this game. <laughs> that's the way I play this game. Bye. <laughs> this is why you don't need Hoda. You don't need a Hoda in this patch, at least, you know, so far, because yeah, there is no power content. The damage is simply not needed. Uh, it's actually a waste of points. Because this is a bleed build. If you see, if you like hit the enemy, right, and you apply your Ren, because I'm obviously playing Ring of the Revenants, and you see the enemy health bar being like dark red, uh, that pretty much means you can leave. Because the enemy is gonna die. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not leave many enemies standing behind, so... Um, not really optimizing on speedrun this time around. Yeah, but as you can see, like, like super easy, right? Super easy. Everything is dying left and right. We got, like, no cooldowns whatsoever. We're really fast. So, yeah, 6,000 armor. Less than 6,000 armor. <laughs> that's the that's the insane part. <laughs> I hit wall, uh, but it's still... <laughs> But it still killed them because the ghosts went through. Uh, I just love charge. I mean, barbarian. I loved barbarian in season two as well, right? But now, thanks to charge, it became something else completely. Like even leveling process is now fun, which used to be tedious and like just just horrible, you know, as a barbarian. So yeah, thank like thank Blizzard, thanks Blizzard for giving us uh, charge, because it's an absolute awesome ability. I can't even imagine playing without it. I can imagine them nerfing it a little bit, because it's kind of overtuned, you know, so you don't actually have to use any of your other abilities. But, um, but yeah, the, the mobility, um, the zoom zoom that it gives you, that makes the game like super action-packed, you know, and fast is what uh, makes it so much fun. So, as you could have seen, Less than 6,000 armor, no elixir. I mean, I do have Ubers, right? So that's some extra survivability. I would not recommend this um, for people without Ubers. Like, definitely get your normal DR chest. Definitely go for Juggernaut. And on your amulet, you can be using, like, uh, the Iron Blood aspect, which increases your damage against bleeding enemies. Even on Hoda, it's super easy to make enemies bleeding to, you know... Um, use that aspect or you know disembowel as well as even the rage of harrogate really uh all you have to do is to assign your two-handed sword to your charge and yet yeah, you will make everything bleeding okay or you can use ring of the revenants but then definitely check out my video the dark side of uh the dark side of the ring um because yeah there are a lot of negative effects uh effects if you don't micromanage the build up properly. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.